Alright guys, so I don't really do much Diablo on my channel for the YouTube anyways. I do it on Twitch a good bit, but that's just kind of because it's something I can play and kind of mind numb. So I wanted to talk about Season 20, how like some tips and tricks to get through it pretty easily. Because this season was pretty easy. Um, and I wanted to ask some questions too, like, because uh, I always come back to Diablo every now and then. I don't play it religiously like some people do, but I don't see the... For some reason, I don't really get the appeal. Like, I get wanting to get the season rewards, but after that, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't see the point in going past the season rewards. And I ask people, and they're like, you can push for more gear and go for greater risk. But I'm like, you're fighting the same mobs over and over again. I get they can kill you faster, but I just kind of lose interest. So if you want to explain to me a little bit more what's appealing, if you're, like, more of a diehard Diablo person, I'd appreciate it because I just... I don't know. For me, it might just be I'm not a Diablo person, but this is my gear this season. And the set for Barbarian this season is the Mortal Kings, um, which I kind of did a spin on it because I always do a Whirlwind Barb, but I wanted to do a Whirlwind Barb with the um, Immortal Kings set that I got. And I didn't get super RNG lucky this season. I only got like a few ancient set pieces I could use. This one, this one. Um, but let's talk about the build real quick. So for my Whirlwind build you, build, you have to have the Bull Cathos weapons, which took me forever to get. That was like one of the last things I got. Um, I use the Convention of Elements because it goes, it cycles through the elements, and then when you get physical, you do a butt ton of damage. Um, Skull Grasp, this gives you your extra Whirlwind damage. Then I have all the Immortal King set. I have the Mortix Brace, so my Wrath of the Berserker gets every rune. Um, I have this to power up my Ancients make them attack faster and then i have the hellfire amulet with the gain relentless passive which we'll talk about that in a second the skills that we use i have the gogok of swiftness which gives you dodge and attack speed when you hit hit things and you also get cooldown reduction i have bane of the stricken because that as whirlwind that's how you do most of your damage to bosses because it scales with your attacks and makes your attacks do more damage over time um, and then we have the Tagak, which I think is just pretty standard for Whirlwind because you're always channeling. The skills I used, because I'm kind of lazy, I try to make it as easy as I can without having to do too much high speed stuff. So I have Call of the H's together, it's one because it makes me take less damage. I have Dust Devils, so you have like a ranged Whirlwind attack, which is super important when you're trying to push for higher greater rifts and like something you're struggling in. Wrath of the Berserker Insanity. Um, even though you already have all the other Wrath of the Berserkers from those bracers, that's the one I was using um, anyways well, before I got those bracers. I, I didn't add this to way later um, because I what I was doing at first, one of my buddies was telling me about like using... So what I was using at first was Rend instead of um, that Warcry. I put Rend on my left click and I was using... And something about Season 20 is, is you can put any like type of weapon or any type of item in any slot so you could have three weapons which is usually different because you usually have to have a weapon an armor and a ring or a jewelry of some type so what i was doing earlier in the season because i didn't have um these two which i wanted manual channeling and hexing of mystery ann's pants was do 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 what well, I'm struggling to find it. Uh, should have rehearsed this. Ambo's Pride, because it gives you Rend when you attack something. And then the other thing was the belt, uh, the <laughs> Lamentation Belt, which makes it where your Rend can stack. So that's what I was using until I got Manual Channeling. I like this one a lot for my build, just because it makes you take reduced damage again. And I'm playing this on Hardcore, which I should have mentioned at the start. But this is my Hardcore Seasonal Build Barbarian. Um, and the Mystery Ants Pants for the regenerate or the resource generation. And it makes you do more damage while you're moving. Whirlwind, you're always moving. So I like that because I'm trying to keep my rage at like max. And I also have Echoing Fury for my for the frenzy thing because that seems really OP to me. Um, but let me see. Skills. So Threatening Shout Vaulter is always good because it makes everything take more damage. Battle Rage, Marauder's Rage is I think the best for that as well. Um, for bonus damage. So, Nerves of Steel is a must for Hardcore, for me anyways. 
Because once that pops, I'm playing safe until it comes off cooldown. I've only had it pop three times, but that was three times I would have lost my character because it only pops when you're going to die. Um, I use Brawler now, now that I'm full build, but I was using Superstition for the longest just to be extra safe. Um, Berserker Rage, that's another reason why you need all that research generation and why you have to have the full Cathos weapons for this to work the way you want it to. Um, Increased streak and rampages is just standard because that's like the strongest thing. So the weapons give you enough research generation with all the other things you have pretty much. Because this gives me um Call of the Ancient Ancient's Fury, which gives me also resource generation. And then I can't remember what it is, but there's something I have that makes it where if I'm spending rage, oh it's a Mortal King set. So if you're spending rage you get um, your cooldown reduction due, so you can always stay in your Wrath of the Berserker form, which is super OP to me. So Season 20, the only thing I really had to grind um, is the the Curse Peat, which if you're, you're pretty up on Diablo, you have to get Conquest to get all the seasonal like achievements or whatnot. I don't know what you call them. Seasonal quest. Um, so you have to, I had to do it on a three P with this build, but it was actually pretty easy once I actually got it to spawn because the spawn's pretty low on it. But basically what you do is, is you'll go into the path of the drowned. You'll go in a, I always go in like a circle around the starting area. And this is about as wide of the circle I make. And if I don't see it, by the time I make the circle, I just restart. The Like, I'll log out, log back in, so the map will change. But yeah, I just go in a circle around the whole thing, about this far apart. And then you'll usually see it up on a hill. And that's where it's... And if it spawns, it'll be on top of that hill. Let's see... Yeah, so it'd be somewhere in this area that I covered. Let's see if I can pull up my map. Get off me, fools. It took me about an hour to grind it, but I just figured that'd be something to tell you if you're trying to do your seasonal. It'd be somewhere in this, like, small area. Let's actually look over there real quick. Because I think the Lord of the Hill is the one that spawns just like 3 Pete, But it has a mob instead of the actual cursed chest you want. Yeah, so this is what the hill will look like. So you get to the top of the hill and then there'll be a cursed chest, but in this one there's a lord of the hill or whatever. And you just murder him. And with this build, I did have my full build by the point I did the three-peat thing, so I would suggest that if you're going to do it. So really you just need to make like a big circle around the spawn and you'll see it spawn and it'll look just like this, except there'll be a cursed chest on the hill. Um, right now we're on Torment 14, so you can see that went pretty easy for us with this build. And like I said, I don't have but like two, three Ancients and no Primals. So this is actually, a, I think it's a pretty strong build for like a Whirlwind Barb without actually using the Whirlwind set. What was I going to say? Oh, and I was going to show you guys me getting the last achievement by doing... Well, actually, I'm going to be risking it for the Biscuit, because I haven't done Tor the Rift 17 yet. But I should be able to do it if I play it pretty safe. One thing I'll recommend with this build, though, make sure you summon your uh, your Ancients when you're uh, starting it. Oh, I might die. <laughs> if you hear, I must heal, that's when you need to start juking out so you can get all your health back. You should generate enough health with this build by spending Fury and whatnot, that you'll be alright. But you don't really, you need to start stacking your Rampage before you fight. But like I said, you always have still nerves, so you shouldn't, like, just straight up get Womboed as Barbarian. And if my still nerves pox, I play super safe until it comes back. I don't even risk it. I mean, worst comes to worst, if I do die in this Greater Rift, y'all get to see me get, like, super pissed. <laughs> I mean, it didn't take me long to do this for this season. This season was actually, like, super easy. But... Yeah, it always sucks. I actually did have one hardcore character die. I had a monk I was playing as at the very start, and he just got murdered. So, you, so if you're taking a lot of damage, like in an area like that, you can stay away and just go back forward, back forward to just send whirlwinds at him just to be safe. And at the point I'm at, usually my ancients don't take damage, but he, on like when I start pushing the rifts like this, 
I actually have to be a little bit cautious and make sure they don't die. Because if they do die, I need to resummon them. But yeah, I think we had like two different types of rare mobs in there. Yeah, we did. That's why we were getting walloped. Also, uh, my potion is one that lets me, when I use it, break through walls. Because the only super threat I've had to dying is the molten people. Because the molten wallers will like trap you in with their explosion, and the explosion can pretty much, <laughs> pretty much takes your full health. So that's one thing I always watch out for when there's an explosion. Do I take it always a little bit more seriously? But the game, I don't know. This build just feels super strong because it has so much uh, durability built into it. Because you have less damage taken while channeling, less damage taken while you have the call of the ancients out, less damage taken while you're in your wrath of the berserker phase. It's, just, it's pretty insane. And then you're also got your uh, gems. One's giving you armor and the other one's giving you a dodge percent. I don't know if it's optimal or not. It's probably not. Because I didn't look up a build for this or anything like that. So it's probably suboptimal. But it's fun. And it's really easy and safe for hardcore. And... What else was I going to talk about? I know I'm talking really fast too, but I'm trying not to make this like a super long video. Hopefully, my uh, gym RNG procs to level it up for my uh, 70 thing will be not terrible. Since I'm doing like a higher riff level than I usually do. Because I've been grinding out 75, which was pretty dangerous. But I was like, eh, do it for the video 77. If I die, I'll just, well... I'm kind of baiting just killing off the character at the end of the video anyways. Because it's... Like I said, that's why I, what, I wanted to start the video asking people, like, what do you, like, what keeps you playing Diablo after you do your seasonal thing? Or is it just the push and rifts? Like, I was going to do achievement hunting, but I just feel like that's so uh, monotonous. Because I have a, I'll show you, I have a ton of achievements in this game. But I don't like doing stuff where I have to, like, reset the game to get achievements. I feel like that's just, or, like, waiting for RNG to happen. That's like why I'm idle champions, or idle, what is it called, uh, clicker heroes? That's why, like, I'm only missing, like, four achievements because of Leroy. I, like, just quit playing because I knew I was never going to get the Leroy achievement. I have all the achievements but, like, four. I just do not like grinding RNG. But, yeah, if someone could tell me, maybe, maybe you just have to have the right mind for it, and you have to, one, optimize and find gear. But, like, it's not even different gear. It's, like, the same gear with just better stats. And that, to me, kind of gets a little bit old. I do un like unlocking the seasonal stuff, though, and making my character look cool. That's <laughs> that's one of the... Oh, if my still thing popped, I need to be careful. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, I'm in a real bad spot. Oh, let me out the wall. <laughs> Ooh, that was not good. So normally, like right now, since my still nerf part, I'm gonna stay over here. I should go back a room to be honest, just to be safe, but I'm just gonna sit and shoot tornadoes and get walled. And I'm gonna move because the wall. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is like the fourth time I've actually had my still thing pop. I'm playing like super dangerous right now. Normally I would have already backed out to the next room. Well, now I have my thing so I can break all the walls. That's why that potion's super good. Because walling is like super deadly and hardcore. Okay. See, now still nerves is back up and we're good. Gucci. That's why uh, I can imagine playing hardcore on anything else but Barbarian. Because they're tanky. They're highly mobile. So you, can, you shouldn't really get hit unless it's like a ton of things happening at once. Because you're so fast. And you have a ranged attack by using the whirlwind. Constant damage. And you have like a save from death tra trait talent thing, which is... God. Yeah, like I said, I would have already lost my hardcore character like four times by now. But honestly, if I wanted to play it like super safe and take my time and grind and get like optimal gear before doing it, I probably wouldn't have even had those four times. I've been kind of trying to rush it to see how fast I could do it. Because I think I've only played on this character for probably around 20 hours. Something like that. Which might seem like a long time, but it's 
kind of not to do all the seasonal stuff. Like, start a character from level 1, get them all the way to 70. I'm sure you can do it a lot faster than I did it. Well, yeah, if you, especially if you get someone to power level you, because I didn't get anyone to power level me. I just leveled my own character, because, one, there's not many people in hardcore that would do it. And, two, I just don't see the point in begging for power levels. But if you do want help leveling up and stuff, you can hit me up, and I'll jump on my character if you've got a hardcore or something. Yeah, this guy ain't dying. I haven't actually fought a boss like this yet. On, uh... Haven't done Rift 77 yet. This might be, like, where my cap out is. He should start dying, though, because I have the Bane and the Stricken, so, like... Eventually, he's gonna start taking a ton of damage just from it stacking. And if, uh, when the physical thing comes up on your convention of elements, that does a bunch of damage, too. Alright, we did it. Hooray! And then you get all this fatty loot. Let's see if this is an upgrade. Let's see if we get an upgrade when we're, like, done with the season. Oh, that's not even the same item. Haha! -ha. Oh, another thing is Puzzle Ring. That's how you get the greed thing. I would not look for goblins forever to find it. Let's see if we get it. Uh oh, my odds are decreasing. Hey, we're complete. We did everything. So let's see what all we got. We got a portrait frame. We got a pet. Let's see. Collection, pet. Oh, where's he at? You lied to me, game! Cow King! That which must not be named. I love the pets, too. That's something I really enjoy the game. But where's my pet at? So we got a couple portrait frames. Let's see. But I don't see my pet though. Yeah, oh, there he is. Bat. Well, if it looks like a bat, sounds like a bat, and runs like a... Never mind. Is that because of coronavirus? <laughs> Blizzard, bad taste, dog. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Didn't they say that came from a bat or something? That's funny. Alright, guys. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Also, if you want to, like, this is how you get to Greed Portal. I wouldn't even, like I was saying, I wouldn't even freaking grind goblins to find it. You should, most people probably already know this by now, but that's the easy way to get the vault open. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do Season 20 easily. Um, none of this stuff's super hard to find. Shouldn't take you too long. And, yeah. Alright, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate the support.